some of the information they are sharing with me today, I think it's quite relevant. At the end of the day, we have to do what we have to do. Now, I mean, let's talk culture because, I mean, obviously working a business of this, of this, of this caliber at this scale is a foreign mm. notion to many people working in this industry who have worked in other salons all over Soweto and perhaps in other parts of South mm. Africa. Getting them to the level and understanding of the structure required mm you know, and the formality required. Talk about that then. Even though the culture may be that you do things on an informal basis, small business owners are every day battling with the formalities that are required, like the Basic Conditions of Employment Act, the Occupational Health and Safety Act, um, PAYE, UIF, all those kind of things. But some of these are law. A lot of people don't realize that the law requires Correct. Comply. You to comply. Yeah. It's not just about doing what's best for your business. It's about doing what's essentially lawful and protecting your business. Exactly, Andile. You know, one of the um, items that most people forget is just the basic conditions of employment act needs to be pasted up in your office, in your building, somewhere that your staff are able to read it. Just like everyone has to have an employment contract. Right. Just like your business should have a disciplinary and grievance procedure. Let's talk about uh, the, the fact that the business owner has to set the tone for the professionalism and, and what's necessary for this business going forward. Otherwise, it's very easy to blame employees and think, oh, I, you know, I didn't hire the right person, et cetera, et cetera. But it's, it is the, the employer's responsibility. That which creates the unique gene pool inside of his business, which is the quality of the people that he employs. Right, yeah. Now, in any business of his nature, being good at the job is a ticket to the game. Right. But being unique at what you do is what he really needs to start thinking about. Yeah. Classical example is in his recruitment processes, looking for a hairstylist is no longer good enough. Yes. Looking for someone who knows the game is yes. no longer good enough. But looking for someone who aligns to his values. Mm. Hiring that for which attitude. It, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Hiring for the attitude that he wants displayed in his business right. is something that I think most entrepreneurs don't step back and look for. And that goes into the experience. See, how he'll, he'll, he will build his business is that with the people that he has there, the minute somebody walks through the door, there has got to be somebody, there's got to be a rule within five seconds of somebody walking through Someone that door, somebody says hello to yeah. them. And then would you like a coffee? Would you like a tea? Okay, so that they're looked after immediately. And even a surprise on Fridays or something, or maybe it's Rose Friday, so the right. first 50 customers get a rose on Friday. Or a free nail okay, job or free, with yeah, every Whatever it may be, but you, you've got to have that energy in there. And, and it's got to be with the people. Right. And see, it'll be the experience that people get because his business builds through referral. And often okay. ignored are the people who are currently making his business a success. Yeah. And the, a nice the, the, loyalty the, program yeah. uh, would do it. Uh, 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 promotional stuff within when people are sitting there, and I call it idle time marketing. Mm -hmm. Is it somebody's idle, they can't move, you got a great marketing opportunity. I'm sitting there getting my hair done, there's the mirrors there. Well, I need signage that promotes the quality of what we do, how to utilize the spa. Duduz has got a fantastic customer relationship management tool, and he's got fantastic financial administration system. He needs to use that. He's got very good attention to detail, by the way, Sibong, on his financials. Yeah. But what he doesn't uh, do and what most businesses don't do, it's not a matter of fact that he can't do it. Yeah. We just need to focus on saying, what are these numbers telling me? Interpretation. Interpretation of the numbers. So what is my gross profit? My gross profit is my income minus my cost of sales gives me my gross profit. Mm -hmm. After that, I take my expenses off and I get net profit. Clearly, there's a number of things that are going well in that business. Mm -hmm. And one of them... On a, on a, on a larger scale, on the macro scale. Absolutely, okay. but it's how those tools are used inside those businesses. Just a classical example. One of them is that there is a database of all clients, preferences, residential contact addresses, mm. including dates of birth. Right. Now that's rich information absolutely. on which you can start interacting and deepening your relationship. He starts stepping up clients onto the high margin areas of his business, right. mm. which is really what he wants to go yeah. into. Yeah. At the back of that, he then starts to understand what drives good margin in his business. Yes. Because whilst he's reporting on financials, it's really a static set of financials. That's not driving some of the business decisions right. inside his business. Exactly. Ramtu, what are we going to do about this, though? Are you ready for the changes required? Because, look, oh, long after the show is over, it's still your business, and, and, and you have to make these changes. That's the challenge. Are you ready? Yes, I'm always ready for action. Okay, well... Let's go and do it. Let's make things happen. Let's fix his biz.
This is Fix My Biz, and today we've been talking about At The Bathhouse Salon and Spa out in Soweto in Mamponya Mall, in fact, and its proud owner, of course, Mdutu Zinkosi, is in studio. Our business team, Bill and Thane, have been factoring their opinions all day. And, of course, a special guest from Netbank Small Business Services, Spongi Sending Goodze, in the mix. As we speak, our people are out there. Fix My Biz team is doing what it can to help you fix your biz. Are you ready? I'm very much positive. Fantastic. Now, Bill, we'll start with you first. Let's talk about the fixes. We've got to make sure we stop the traffic. A nice TV uh, in the window it draws people in. Then once people are in, they've got to have a phenomenal experience. And we've got to do the add-ons and upsells while they're there and also move the people into the spa. Mm -hmm. And take that CRM system of his and make sure that it's up to date. They've got the information, the details on people, and really utilize that. That's going to make a big difference to definitely. the Definitely. I mean, that spa is definitely a well-kept secret. I mean, I had a magnificent time in there. But let's talk about what you think you need to fix, Dane. Employment law. Get those contracts in place. Right. Take the micro view of your financials. A business with low profit is like a business with a cancer. But a business with bad cash flow is like a business with an acute heart attack. If you don't understand what the numbers are, you don't interpret those numbers, you don't know where you stand. What, what are your final views uh, going out of this segment? One of the first things in my view is to try and make sure that you've got a clear strategy that says bring footfall into the business. Uh, once they're in, get them to buy more and more of the same of the products that you have. Trap them increase with their, increase their upsell and cross sell. Yeah. You then need people that can create that magic inside your store. The okay? right people. So it's got to look at the right people. Mm. The last bit of thought is around financial management and controls. You've got financial reporting. You've got some great insights into those. Use those to make sure that you proactively Get your own clients to come in. Make at the boss house the place to be, like the obvious choice. Okay. I mean, whether you live in Soweto, make people drive across town for your business, I guess. You know? That's one of yeah. our mission, yes. to be the most enviable place to be in, you know, within the town. Look, I'm really excited. It's time for us to go and check out for ourselves what has been going on. With your permission, we're going to head over to at the boss house. With pleasure and delay, and I'm ready for it. Do you own a small business? Does it have a projected annual turnover of up to 7.5 million rand? If so, your business could feature on the 13th episode of Fix My Biz. Just SMS Fix My Biz and your name to 34333 or email fixmybiz at etv.coza. Jason, how are you? Good, Fine, yourself. Thanks. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, what we've done for you now is we've put up various yeah. elements, all designed to get people, more people using the spa in the background. We've got yeah. the the hanging drapes or the thin yes. hanging drapes in front which lists yeah. all the services you do. Yes. Nice big welcome sign. Yes. And then we've changed your pictures which just look a little bit more luxurious. Yes. And then because you say your hairdresser is busy, we've put stickers above yeah. on the mirror so that people yeah. sitting here can actually see the additional functions yeah. that you have. We also have one there by the wash base. Yeah. So somebody lying as they get up, they can see exactly okay. what you do. Okay. And then on the design side for you, we have this lady that we, the picture we've chosen for you, which can come almost an icon for at the bathhouse. We've taken the logo and made it black for you just to make it stick out a little bit yes. against your yellow background on your of walls course. and your flyers and things. If you have a look over here, we have the concept designing for what we've done inside the store. Okay. And then over here in the list of those stickers and all your functions and things, all yeah. put in nicely designed. This is put together so that you can get a look and a feel going forward. Yeah. If you have a look here, the flyers follow the same lady with a similar pose, the black at the bathhouse and the list of all your details, yeah. all your contact information, portrays the right image for you. And then the last one is also just what we did there in the, in, inside the building for you. Yes. Relisting the waxing and, and all the different things that you do. So okay. going forward with this, I think uh, the business will do a lot better. Yeah, I hope so too. Because Mtutuzi did not have a single branding style, design expert Jason has put together a style guide to create a consistent brand in store. Duduzi was lacking the necessary legal framework for his employees and their conditions of employment, so Bizwiz Thane has given him a pack containing all the documents he needs. Duduzi, what I'm going to give you here is a contract of employment. There's a disciplinary procedure, there's a grievance procedure that you can use in your business. Let's get the Basic Conditions of Employment Act sorted out for once and for all. I thank you, and I guarantee that will happen. Duduzi needs to understand and interpret his business better, so he now has a set of ratios that will help him calculate his profit margins. To see the ratio, just go to simplybiz.coza.
Ntutuzu needed to ensure that his customers were receiving a consistent level of service, so BizWiz Bill has provided him with Super Team Super Service training material. Ndudusi, yes. I've got something here for you, yes. okay? and it's going to help. Yes. And it's called Super Team Super Service, yes. and it's a DVD. It's about an hour in length, okay? yes. and it tells all kinds of stories about how you really give that extra special treatment and make everybody feel totally wanted. I'm also giving you a DVD on how to do upsells and add-ons. So we're back at the bathhouse and beauty spa and I have very pleasant memories of Indawiyako. So uh, I'm very glad to be back. Very happy to see that there's no yeah. way I'm going to walk past now That's without true. knowing where you are. Yeah. Very clear streamers. That's fantastic. That TV catches my eye. I know what's going on inside, which was a big issue. Yes, which was also a big issue. A big yes, issue, yeah, yeah? yeah. I mean, you're at the mall, you've got all this foot traffic being supplied by, by the mall. Yeah. You need to capture it. You need to capture the imagination. Precise. Fantastic. Let's go inside. Tutuzi has not been able to attract the attention of passers-by, so now he has an eye-catching display to draw them in. Right, about that foot traffic, it's important yes. that clients that you actually get in yes. know about the spa. It's true. So it's not just about people coming for hairdos and haircuts, etc. They need to know that around the corner there's, there's all sorts of splendors, like I discovered, you know? Absolutely. So that's really a fantastic idea to have all your treatment uh, listed beautifully and, and, and awareness. Also, but it's, it falls flat if your employees don't tell them about it and don't uh, set their attention to it. Sanel, now that man sorted me out, you know, he sorted my style out the last time I was here. And, he actually sold me on some of the concepts, and I know you guys have started to, 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 to use some of the advice Bill and Thane gave you. Yeah. Not least the, the customer relationship management material uh, that's important to make sure that every client gets an uh, amazing sort of service around here. Yes. So this is part of what's going to be happening from now on. Absolutely. Okay, so from the barber chair to the washing basins, Yes. And when you're sitting at the washing basins, you're basically a captive audience. Precisely. Yes. And we've made sure you can't escape without knowing about that spa. Exactly, because the writing is in the wall. Right? And then we've made sure that not only is the branding awesome, your staff is trained on exactly what people need to know about the spa and their hair products in general. All right? So I can see a cup, cup of coffee there steaming. I'm thinking there are very few places, if any, in Soweto, let's say even South Africa, that will be offering the kind of service you have here. So you should be sorted. Tutuzi was having trouble encouraging existing customers to use the spa. So now he has promotional tools to help him make them aware of that great facility. I'm really excited about this business. I'm excited about this show. And I can't wait to meet another amazing entrepreneur again next week, right here on Fix My Biz.